Switzerland may be small, but its success story is great. In the past two centuries, it has risen from a poor country to a global powerhouse. Small country, big economy. High income, low inequality. This is Switzerland, but of the past? Are we still on track toward a bright economic future? Or are we headed in the wrong direction? Clearly, Switzerland is at a crossroads. Innovation isn't just about tomorrow's technology, it's also about tomorrow's economy. We need to have a broader understanding of innovation. For a long time, we believed that it's mainly or only technology driving innovation, but in reality, innovation takes place if it brings a value to a customer or to society. And in order to develop long-term innovation, we need to have an understanding of exactly that broader picture. Traditional ideas about work environment and career paths are becoming obsolete. How can Switzerland remain a top destination for top minds? I think there's two issues. First of all, we need access to the best talent in the world. That means flexibility in order to bring these people to Switzerland. Secondly, it's also the strengthening of our own workforce, of the people educated in Switzerland, where it's not only education, but also the work attitude. International trade helped drive Switzerland's prosperity in the past. The corona crisis has shown how dependency on global supply chains makes us all vulnerable. Is it time to rethink globalization? We're going to see a trend backwards to more regional value chains in order to strengthen resilience. But I think it will mainly be in industries that are key to nations, uh, from food to healthcare, whereas other uh, industries will probably go back to a globalized value chain rather quickly. Switzerland's achievements have been remarkable, but a successful past doesn't guarantee a successful future. Based on extensive research, we have identified eight areas to focus on to get us back on track. Let's power up Switzerland together. Act now. Discover our plan of action.